Welcome if you kiss. Okay, so we are going to get messages for you from postcards from Spirit. Yes, they've been busy writing postcards to all the zodiacs. Whispers of Healing Oracle cards we'll be using also. And Osho Zen Tarot. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. Let's get into it. Righty, let's sort through this mail, shall we? A few kiss and see what we have for you. One postcard for a few kiss, please. Spirit. Of course, first card out goes flying. One moment, please. Okay, here we go. This is your postcard here. Okay, so a few kiss. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect even in its flaws, and we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal, and this isn't serving you right now. So forget your ideas your sorry so forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes allowing everything to be as they are without judgment don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something instead enter life with all its flawsomeness oh i love that <laughs> you are exactly where you're supposed to be let others be who they are too. Imperfect and human. Complex or simple. It doesn't matter. For there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. Love it. Okay, so let's have a look further into this, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay. A few kids. I love that flawsomeness. <laughs> really, really loving the, the, the imperfect imperfection of the, what is it? The perfection, it's the perfection of the imperfection, something, oh, anyway, never mind, don't worry, you know what I mean, hopefully. Okay, reliable, reliable, okay. Hmm, I feel like this could be a matter of the heart, <laughs> um, a matter of the heart, reliable, what is this about for you? Are you feeling like people around you aren't reliable? Is it the case that you feel like people can't do it the way you want it because it's not perfect and so you just do it? It's like, oh, I'll just do it because no one's doing it properly anyway. Is that what it is here, Fucus? I don't know. But what I love about this, actually, I just kind of like feel like this could be music within you that leads the way. It's sort of like, because she's sitting on a boat here, traveling along, playing the harp. She's not even looking where, where it's going. She's kind of letting the tide take her, and she's playing the harp with this beautiful tune, and just letting, letting the way take her where she's supposed to go. So is this the thing? Is this this resistance of, um, you know, of life? Resistance of the flow, maybe. Okay, so tell me more about reliable for a few kiss, please. We've got conditioning. Okay, well, a few kiss conditioning here. So is this you or is this someone around you trying to condition? Or is this society that has conditioned you, maybe? conditioned you into believing that everything must be this way or that way or this way and you now don't feel like you're living your true authentic life 
because of this conditioning that you know you've been tied to right so everything feels like it's not right because of this conditioning but what was truly inside of you is this beautiful music that hasn't had a chance to come out or you haven't had a chance to walk the path that you're truly meant to walk because of this conditioning of society, right? Courage. This is the courage to break free, I feel, of the conditioning. Um, just trying to see how it links in with this being reliable, with reliable. Um, and it, I'm just wondering if the conditioning is... For some of you that you may not feel that you'll be considered reliable... If you break out of the conditioning, it could be that there you feel like people are counting on you to be a particular way or do certain things. Um, but it's not really you. Um, the other thing is that there's sort of like, just from the postcard, I feel like there's this um, this energy of fear of even starting something because you know that you're, it, 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 you're stepping out of that comfort zone. So it's as though you've been in a comfort zone for a really long time and, um, and you've managed to perfect absolutely everything that you do, but there's a calling. There's a calling for you to step out of that um, and it's really scary because you don't know what the frick you're doing. Yeah, so I just wonder if um, I don't know what that card is because that's upside down. Yeah, let me just continue on because I'm not entirely, like, don't feel like I'm nailing it yet, though. Positive-minded people. Positive-minded people. Um, Yeah, see, these, this is not positive, right? This is not, this is not really your people. It's, the, you know, like the lion is around the sheep here. It's not his, it's not his people or his animal. You know, it's not his species, in a sense. So in that regard, it's about you looking at finding, not, we talk about like-minded people, but I like to talk about like-hearted people. People who have the same heart, because you can have people with the same belief systems as you, but they're not necessarily got the same heart. Is this why the word heart came up here with the harp? You know, it's about what, what, what is the music that is in your soul that you want to play? You know, where are the people who can match that music with you? You know, who are the people that you can make a beautiful song with, right? Who are the people who are going to sit there and see the joy of blowing the bubbles and see the magic in that and do that with you, Yeah. And look at this, what I love about this too is that the wind's blowing and her hair's blowing all over the show and it's not perfect and it's, you know, but you need the wind to blow the bubbles, right? You can't have, the, the bubbles are just going to go and splat on the ground. You need the wind to carry them off, you know. And this I feel too is about infusing wishes into the bubbles and sending them off. And I feel like this could be something that would be really great for you to visualize that, you know, you have these wishes that you want to be fulfilled. So just close your eyes and visualize them going into a bubble and being carried off, being carried off to the cosmic kitchen for your order to be filled. Okay, so 
Tell me more about positive minded people, please. Tell me more about this. I don't like how they came out. Silence. I wonder actually if um, some of you are in a in a situation that you might feel like, oh, is this even the right direction I'm meant to be going in? Because I don't know, I'm, this isn't working and I'm not doing that right and it feels like everything's like wrong. And um, yeah, I kind of feel like you need to go into the silence in order to calm all that because... Um, Things are progressing. Things are progressing and not everything may seem quite right at the moment. Everything, I, I kind of get this feeling of things feeling out of kilter a little bit and I just wonder for you, Fucus, if you're questioning whether you're even meant to be in doing what you're doing right now. Okay, um, and... I feel like it is it is okay it's okay um it, because you can grow from this it, it it's okay you can still grow you know because this seed here was meant to have been planted in a garden in the dirt somewhere but it, it still managed to do what it needed to do it still grew and blossomed you know it, it um and and do you know what though this is the thing about you if you this is this is like the essence of who you are, right? You're able to do that. Like, seriously, do you even see how incredible you are that you can do that? Like, that's amazing, man. That is amazing to be able to grow through a crack with no nutrients, no nurturing, completely out of your comfort zone, completely out of your natural environment and still be able to grow and achieve what it is that you've done like wow so seriously like you know take some time to celebrate yourself you know take some time to just quietly put yourself on a pedestal for a minute you know sure you don't need to be cocky about it but you can just, you're allowed to go, wow, that was pretty amazing what I've been able to accomplish here. You know, um, yeah, because jeepers creepers. Um, yeah, I really, and, and what I love about this card here is this here, this side here, how she's got her eyes closed and she's blowing on those bubbles, sort of making that wish going into that silence and creating you know what it is that she wants to create putting that order out there right and you've got this one over here like oh my god look at the bubbles they're so cool she doesn't care what they look like she doesn't care she loves them as they are they're bubbles and they're magical and they're awesome you know and so this is this sort of celebration of yeah this is amazing you know and so um i absolutely love it that card is reflecting you know both these cards are reflecting this one card here um so you know you can sort of do both you don't have to do one or the other you can do both here okay so what's this next card that jumped out grateful yeah wow look at this look at this this is this real sense of you being grateful for the transformation that you have made regardless of the circumstances you know, it, it, and this is the thing, it might not be perfect. It may never be perfect. What is perfect? Is anything perfect? You know, it's so easy for us to look at other people's lives or things that other people have and believe that that's, oh, they've got all that, you know, or, um, you know, everything looks perfect. They've got the most amazing relationship or they've got the best job that you could ever have or you know the conditions for them are just right and you know and even wanting to start something new you know you might want to learn the harp you know and you're like I can't learn it because I'm on a boat you know it's like we'll get the harp and go on the boat <laughs> just learn it you know um it's like it doesn't really matter um if you want it enough 
you will do it just like this. You wanted to rise up. You wanted to achieve what it is that you've achieved and you did it regardless of the conditions. So I feel like whatever's stopping you now, it's important for you to reflect back and see how far you have come and go far out. I did good. I did real good. And honour yourself, you know, um, and be grateful. Be grateful for what you learnt. Be grateful that you are who you are. You have the spirit within you to achieve those things. You know, you actually did it. Look at this at the bottom of the deck, right? You got out of that cage and you flew. You flew like you've never flown before. You didn't believe you could do it. You thought you were stuck, but you didn't. You got out and you did it. And, um, yeah, this it's sort of like this is you again in a different situation, but going, oh, what if I, what if I don't fly? Look at them flying like that. Oh, my God, they are so amazing. I could never do it like them. But you can. You can do it, and you can do it better, right? Because you will, because that's you. That's who you are, if you guess, right? That's who you are. And even though you're not a zodiac sign, I'm going to word it like this. A fucus, the forgotten zodiac, <laughs> you know? But you, you're not to be forgotten. This is the thing. You're not to be excluded. You're not to be uh, treated as insignificant. You are so much more than that. Boy, oh boy, are you. You know? You are. Look at this. You are the piece of the puzzle that was missing that's, that's you. It makes me a little bit emotional because I just feel like, wow. Wow. You are the one that completes everything. Nothing is the same without you in it or there. Your existence is extraordinarily crucial. You know, and um, I, 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 I sort of, I, I want to know that you believe that. So please, if you kiss, please, just know that, you know. And if you have to comment down below, for whoever sees this video, and put in there, I am extraordinarily crucial in whatever you're doing in whatever role you play whatever piece of the puzzle that you are you are it can't it, it's not complete without you you know so if you have to do that then do that because you know i just feel like i i want to shake you and go do you even see do you even know <laughs> do you um yeah yeah, this is this is this eagle rising above here, seeing the bigger picture, seeing how it is that things couldn't have happened without you. Um, you know, things there's there's such a need for appreciation of you. And whether that be by you or people around you, I think this is why I'm getting this overwhelming sense of like, oh my gosh, it's like I really want to scream it from the mountaintops to say a fucus is incredible and necessary. You know, um, I yeah, it's sort of like the world without butterflies that would absolutely ruin everything, you know, and... Um, what I really love about this too is that this this picture here, if you really look at it closely, the flowers aren't detailed perfectly, right? The landscape isn't detailed perfectly, but it still makes up this beautiful picture, right? It still tells an incredible story. It has a message that is needed to be shared in order for this reading to be complete. Without it, it wouldn't be complete. Right? So, um, yeah, I, I really do feel like it's necessary for you to 
rise up in your power. Rise up in your power and see how it is that you um, actually are required for everything to be able to work the way it does. Okay, um, and, and the other thing with this, just on a bit of a side note, with this um, completion here, there's something that's coming to an end in your life, a cycle, um, and this is where I wonder if um, stepping into this new thing that, you know, you've been doing this other thing for so long or whatever it is, you've been in this situation, whatever, for so long, is this is really scaring you because it totally became your comfort zone um, without maybe you even realising it. Yeah, so. It's kind of like this flower here being transplanted into an actual garden and it going, oh my God, I don't even know how I'm going to do that. But it's been transplanted into its natural environment. But because it's had to struggle and fight for so long, um, it's it can't even fathom how it could possibly survive in any other condition, <laughs> you know. And um, yeah, maybe it's the case that some of you are actually moving and potentially moving you know, city or um, state or country or something, you're moving to a foreign land. Maybe it's not quite foreign, but you're moving. Yeah, especially with this tiger going above the world there. Um, it could even be a trip around the world, maybe. Um, but, you know, this guy here, he's scoping it out. He's sussing it out, right? He's working out to see where's the best place. Where's the best place to land here? What's going to be the most lucrative for me? Um, so, yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, well-being. Oh, yeah. Taking care of yourself here. Taking care of yourself here, if you kiss, and make, you know, doing this for you. Okay, um, doing this so that you are able to, because can you imagine actually once this is um, transplanted, how much more it can grow in its natural environment. So this is you taking care of your well-being. Okay, and what have we got? What have we got? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, see laziness here, right? Not not pretending like, oh no, but it's okay, I'm all right here. It's fine. I don't need to go. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do, you actually do. You know, it's like I can just make my perfect little um sunshine coast here. Um, it's okay, I'm fine because I'm still in my kitchen, I'm in my comfort zone. I don't need to step out into the big wide world and do that. Uh, you do actually, okay. Um there's been some sort of illusion. There's an illusion that is being broken as well. Um, and so, or there's the fear of an illusion. For some of you. Yeah. But this is where transformation happens. Okay, you have all the tools. You do have all the tools that you need. It's just change is scary and it doesn't feel like you do. But it is absolutely, 100% necessary okay this shift in your life this new because wherever there's a completion there has to be a new beginning the beginning of a new puzzle right the beginning of a new puzzle is about to happen and um, the old puzzle has to be broken up and put away into the box in order for the new puzzle to be begun sorry i thought i could hear a noise out there anyway okay so barriers look at this Barriers. Okay, so these, you know, um, uh, your fears, okay, um, because you want to fly, you actually want to move, you want to go forward, but there's barriers that are in your way, okay, and, um, and I think it's, these are the things that you really need to address right now so that you can step way, way, way out of this comfort zone, okay, and if Perfection is one of them. You know, perfection can actually be, um, I, I think if this is the case for you, you really need to look into that because it can represent a, a, some quite deep stuff. Okay, so um, this could be some work that needs to be done for you. Okay, so 
Give me two cards for barriers, please. Control. It's the first card that popped out. Okay, this could be this perfection thing, the need for control to have everything in order. Um, and it, that could be a safety thing. That could about be about you needing to feel safe um, because there was a time in your life when things were so unsafe potentially a few kids that um, this now is the only way that you can create this um, harmony it feels like it's harmonious for you to be in control and everything's running in order and it's all fine okay but in actual fact it's created these barriers that have stopped you from moving forward okay um, once these barriers are broken down you will and the control is let go of this could also, though, sorry, just shoo, got taken away over here. Um, just seeing this conditioning card, this could be you breaking out of the conditioning and being controlled. Okay, breaking down those barriers and finally being able to fly. Finally being able to fly. Okay, and, and it's um, unknown territory and it's scary. <laughs> and, um, but... At the end of the day, this is where the harmony comes in. Okay, this is where your happily ever after is able to be created here. Okay, um, yeah, so you are on your way to something absolutely magnificent. Um, yeah, one more card from this deck for a few kiss, please. Thanks. Mental repetition. Yeah, looking at that, looking at these repetitive thoughts within your mind and um, what's going on. I think I think it would be really wise for maybe the next week or two to just take some time to focus on what is being repeated in your mind. OK, and um, this may help you see the perfection thing and um, and sort of like um, if you because if you have been in a situation where you've been conditioned and controlled, you may very well find that that has become that that's actually such that that record has been played over and over and over. Even if the person or the people who did that to you are no longer in your life, it may just be be so ingrained within you. Okay, so I would I would really pay attention to your thoughts and what is going on and seeing if you can link that to um, this conditioning that may have happened. Okay, yeah. Tell me more about mental repetition for a few kiss, please. The master. Yes, 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 because that was going to allow this master to really step out, okay? This is you, this is the truth of who you are, this master within will be able to come forth and lead the way. You will have no reason to feel afraid anymore, because the master knows, the master knows what he's doing, he is, everything's in balance, he's got everything down pat, and, um, you know, this is within you, and... You've been working towards this, I feel, for sure, for sure. Yep, yep. Isolation, melting the ice that you has surrounded you. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. See, some of you have had to harden, harden your heart. You've had to put ice around it. You've had to get real cold, in a sense, in order for you to cope. And so as you release this, um, you'll be able to melt that ice and this harp here, the heart will be able to be played again. Not played in a bad way, but the music within it will be able to be played. This beautiful song that you hold within. A fucus will be able to come out to the world for the world to enjoy. Okay, so let's revisit the postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, we know everything in the universe is perfect even in its flaws, and we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from ours. 
you tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal and this isn't serving you right now. So forget your idea of perfection and see through the, our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something. Instead, enter life with all its flawlessness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be who they are too. Imperfect and human, complex or simple, it doesn't matter. For there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable. Loving you like crazy. Okay, great. That's it, Ifukas. I'm going to leave that with you. I hope that helped you. Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.